What are you doing? You're coming to the theatre with me. My kingdom for all! I actually felt quite sorry for him. I'd quite like to visit his grave. There isn't one. Philip's story was really important and unheard. That, that's the crucial part of it. I would tell people I was writing a story about the woman who found Richard III, and they would say, oh, I didn't know a woman found it. I thought it was Leicester University. And I said, well, thereby hangs a tale, and uh, a tale we want to tell. Do you have any books on Richard III? We have eight titles. I'll take them. Which ones? All of them. We felt like we were on a on a mission to uh, write uh, to, to to write a boat that had been uh, uh, listing the wrong way um, because of an account of the story that we believe and I believe um, is not the full story. I know I can find him. Who? Richard. Richard who? Sorry, uh, the third. The king. Yes. When, you know, I met Steve and he, and he said, look, we'd really like to do this, that, that's a big moment because you think, OK, if you say yes to this, you're on, a, you're on this tram line and it's on the way. But I think what gave me a lot of comfort was the research that both him and Jeff had done in terms of this because I'd written two books, so they'd read my two books, but they would always say you know, we want to see original materials and on a number of occasions we want eyewitness testimony and things like that so that everything we decide to put in the script and on the screen is is supported. That gave me a lot of comfort because I thought they're very serious about this and they want to make it as, as real and authentic as they possibly can. This is starting to look like an unhealthy obsession. I can't believe you just said that. I'm doing this for you. Plenty have tried and failed. Well, I wish you the best of luck. We didn't specifically have anyone in mind, but when Sally came, someone raised the idea of Sally as a potential Philippa. We thought we would gravitated towards that straight away because Philippa, uh, as in the way Sally plays her, has a, st a strength and a determination coupled with a, a vulnerability. Um, and Sally, I think, captured that perfectly. How can you possibly find him on your own? The key is in the city archives. All the information I need to find him, well, it's all out there. But I don't think anybody's brought it all together before. If your research is accurate, he's now right in the middle of a car park. Can you tell me what that letter represents? Just means reserved. Of course. I was bowled over when they said, look, we think we'd like Sally, because you know, we've all seen her work, we've all seen the back catalogue of what, what she can do. And I knew you needed someone very particular to be able to, to really do what Steve said, the vulnerability, the fragility, but also the little bit of inner steel as well. I want to dig for Richard. It's the body of an adult male. Boys, your mother's just found Richard III. Yeah! <laughs> And I'm here today to tell you a story about a person who is judged unfairly in life. Thank you for watching Picture House Cinema's unique video content. Hit the subscribe button to be kept up to date with our movie news, cast and crew interviews, highlights, trailers and lots more.